en el día de hoy, como una contribución adicional que iremos presentándole al pueblo de Venezuela y a los medios de comunicación para que se orienten en sus investigaciones particulares, vamos a presentar el testimonio del de segundo terrorista perteneciente a las boinas verdes, perteneciente a las fuerzas especiales de los Estados Unidos de Norteamérica, este sí, un experto con mucha más veteranía, con mucho más eh, presencia en actividades irregulares en Irak, en Afganistán, en los años 2003, 2005 y 2007, fue durante 17 años miembro del servicio de las Fuerzas Armadas de los Estados Unidos, se alistó en 1996 y está capacitado en entrenamiento táctico y en ataque a sitios confinados. Nos referimos a Iron Berry, de 41 años de edad, originario de Austin, Texas, Estados Unidos de Norteamérica. Tenemos dos testimonios voluntarios del señor Iron Berry. Vamos a verlos, por favor. Primer video. ¿Qué es tu nombre? Mi nombre es Aaron Seth Berry. ¿Qué es tu edad? 41. Where do you live? Uh, United States. What is your address? Uh, I don't remember it. It's a new address. I just don't have it. When don't did have you, it in memory. When did you enter the army? Um, uh, 1996. What has been your tactical training? Uh, it was infantryman. Where and when did you meet Jordan Goudreau? Um, I don't exactly remember when. He uh, was in the army at some point. What was the job proposal for Jordan? Um, to come here? For, um, to come to Venezuela and provide support. When did you fly from U.S. to Colombia? Um, January, I think. Who accompanied you? Um, Jordan, uh, Luke, and um, what I learned to be a person named, by the name of Alex. How did you move to Rio Hacha? Um, with a car. Who accompanied you? Um, Luke and this Alex person. Who recite you? Who what? Recite you? Oh, um, the um, Sakea. What is it? What she did. How much would Jordan f pay for the job? I don't exactly know. How much do you spend? I don't know. It's uh, it was only supposed to be for two weeks, so. What well, is the training uh, you teach? Um, it's more of uh, reviewing what they already know. Um, and what the. Uh, how to um, go about it. Uh, working in a building and basic uh, clearing in the street. How many times did you visit Colombia? Uh, only one time. How many times did you visit Venezuela? Once. Where did you stay in Rio Hacha? Uh, at a house. Recept you in the Alta Guajira, in the border. I don't know. I wasn't. I wasn't um, part of that. Who? Did you know about a document that described the close of your of the operation? Yes, I think so. Did you see the tactical uniforms in the camp? At some point we see staff for uniforms, yes. Where do you live in Rio Hacha? Um, in uh, a few houses. 
three houses. So. Who, who commanded in Rio Hacha? Uh, Leon or Cicada. Leon was a. How many people did you train? Um, from what I understand, it's approximately 50 to 60 people. What, what is the Silver Corp company in care of? It's a private corporation um, owned by Jordan Dudro. And it's about all I understand about that. What will be your mission after entering Caracas? Um, to advise the um, forces that were coming in um, when they need us and make our way to the airport as soon as we could. Why the U.S. government insists on attacking the government of Venezuela if Venezuela does not represent a treat to them? I don't understand why America would do that. How much will Jordan pay you for the operation? I don't have any uh, specific dollar sign or dollar amount to, to tell you. Did you have contact with a special agent of the DEA in Caracas? Me, no. How many people make up Silver Court? As far as I know, it's just Jordan. I haven't met anyone else other than myself and Luke. If someone tried to, to enter the U.S. with the intention of eliminating Donald Trump, what do you think would be the response of the U.S. government in this case? That they would definitely um, protect the president. What were the objectives of the mission? Um, I believe it was to uh, um, obtain specific uh, targets and um, to, I think, get Maduro. Are you aware of the other Silver Corp training camps? Uh, not to my knowledge, no. Are you aware that Juan Guaido, in the end, that contract acted illegally and that it's a crime to sponsor insurgency, insurgency actions against the people of Venezuela? I understand that's what you're saying, yes. I understand that's what you're saying, yes. Would you accompany Luke to take the airport? or will he go to another objective once they took Caracas? Uh, as, as far as I know, Luke and I were to be at the airport to bring in more. Are there other American soldiers advising these groups? Not that I'm aware of, no. Why do uh, you train irregular forces in Colombia to enter Venezuela knowing that it is illegal? I know that it's illegal now. Um, before, it was um, a different understanding for me. Being in the Alta Guajira, could you see a man in a wheelchair? Oh, uh, yes. Do you talk with him? I did not talk with him, no. Who, who talked with the uh, uh, man in the, in the Sakea, wheelchair? Sakea. Have your human rights been respected in the place where you are confident? Uh, yes, as far as, as far as I've experienced, yes. This contract was posted um, several days ago by Jordan Goudreau. It outlines my responsibilities with Silver Corps, uh, signed by Juan Guaido, Jordan Goudreau, and 
Juan uh, Rendón. Pero en su segundo testimonio, este señor Berry abunda un poco más acerca de su misión. Vamos a verlo. How many times have you been on commission outside the U.S.? Uh, three times. In which countries? Uh, Iraq. In what years and uh, for how long did you serve? Um, for 2003, uh, 2005, 2007, and for a year. Are you being buried? Yes. Why did you decide to enter Venezuela by sea and not by land? There seemed to be the preferred choice. Did you belong to Group 10 of U.S. Special Forces? Uh, yes. Mike Pompeo spoke about your arrest. What do you think about that? I'm not aware of that. Saber Corps owns camp in Brazil? No. Have you given tactical training in Brazil or other Latin American countries for Venezuela intervene? No. What were the target of the operation? Um, the target they got was Jasim, uh, Sabine, Mira Flores and the airport Tar Jacetta. How did you get the data to draw the plans? Oh, based on information from the the group. What will, what will be your Objected at the at La Carlota Air, Air Base. At La Carlota Air Base would be to uh, secure the airstrip. In your plans, they mention a uh, BN4 vehicle. Who will be the uh, be responsible for it? Um, that information was known by Sakia. Where will, will the aircraft that will carry out the extraction of President Maduro come from and what will be its destination? I would assume that it is the United States. How will, will they carry out the extraction of President Maduro from Miraflores? I'm not exactly sure. How necessary. How is the process for the Army to assign you as a commission in another country? Uh, can you repeat the question? How is the, the process for the Army to assign you as a commission in another country? I don't understand how to answer that. How is the process for the Army to assign you as a commission in another country. They inform you and you go and perform your service. When was the last time you used the military uniform of your country? Um, 2012. What is your social security number? 459-591794. Do you recognize the name Kaseya Soleimani? Mm, somehow, yes. Why did they decide to attack on my uh, one first, I, first name? I have no idea. Had you been in Syria? Uh, no. Who was the president of U.S. during your service? Um, Clinton, Bush, Obama. Who would 
be in charge of coordinating the plane. Uh, I would be in charge of calling back to Jordan, and Jordan would make those coordinations or has made those coordinations with someone in the United States. And then we would bring that plane or expect waiting for that plane to arrive and then in country. How much will Silver Corp take to achieve the objectives of the so-called Operation Guillaume? Um, the only number I know of is what I've seen in the contract um, that you showed here. Uh, it's uh, like 220 million or something like that. How much money will Jordan earn if the operation was successful? Uh, I'm not sure exactly. It's his corporation. I'm not sure how what his share is or how that works. I would assume it's possibly millions. How much do you think Silver Corp will pay you? if the operation was successful? Um, I don't have a specific number uh, right now that I can talk about or even aware of. Uh, I was told money would be good and uh, trusted him on that and that's all I know.